Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today I come to you with a paper that talks about the neurological differences between prose and writing code. This paper is from the most recent International Conference on Software Engineering. What the authors did in this paper is use fMRI readings to compare the neurological activity when someone was writing prose versus when someone was writing code. Why even ask the question? Well, first of all, it's an interesting question to ask because many people, including prominent computer scientists like Dijkstra, have surmised about the link between writing prose and writing good code. And they have hypothesized that being a great writer has some correspondence with also being a great programmer. So it would be nice to get some experimental data to confirm or deny that. Secondly, fMRI is now becoming a tool used in many studies to understand how the brain behaves when doing various programming related tasks. But this is the first time someone has actually done an fMRI study of actually writing code. There was a major physical barrier to doing this. The magnetic field and metal parts in the keyboard interfere with each other, so you couldn't place a keyboard near an fMRI machine. One of the key innovations in this paper is to construct a special keyboard with no metallic parts that a participant can hold and type on while they're still inside an fMRI machine. And this is hooked up to a computer which is in another room because, again, the metal from the computer would interfere with the machine. So there's no metal in the fMRI room and all these wires go to a PC in another room which is isolated from the magnetic fields. What kind of tasks are they looking at for these tests? There are two main kinds of tasks which they call fill in the blank and long form. In the fill in the blank task, you have a writing task where you just have to fill in the blanks, a word or a few words, and a coding task where you have a template and again you have to fill in the blank with just a line or two of code. But then you also have the long response tasks where the task is to actually formulate a longer piece of prose or a longer piece of code from scratch. And for this study, they got 30 human subjects and asked them to perform these writing and coding tasks while in an fMRI machine. So let's get into the results. First, let's look at the general results, which consider both the fill in the blank tasks as well as the long response tasks. And here the authors found that there were significant differences in the neurological activity between code writing and prose writing activities. So the brain is treating these activities as different tasks. Next, let's zoom in to the fill in the blank tasks. And based on the areas of the brain where they saw activation, what the authors found was that even if you have to fill in the blank and produce a very short snippet of code, that still requires careful top-down planning to come up with the right piece of code in the right context. And what the authors found was, even in the fill-in-the-blank task where you have to come up with a very short amount of code, there was significantly more activity in the parts of the brain associated with top-down planning. And finally, let's look at the comparison for the long-form responses. This is the most relevant part of the study because it's the closest to real-world practice where you have to write long pieces of prose or long pieces of code from scratch. In neuroscience, when some brain activity is strongly associated with one side of the brain, the left or the right, that is called lateralization. And what the authors found, and this correlates with all previous studies on prose writing as well, that writing is highly left lateralized. On the other hand, writing code was heavily right lateralized, so it was a right brain activity. One way to interpret that is that writing code requires a lot of spatial reasoning and that programmers are forming some sort of a mental map which helps them to solve the programming problem. And this is a pretty interesting and strong result because a lot of people have hypothesized in the past that there must be 
a positive correlation between being able to write well and program well. And that turns out not to be the case because they use totally different parts of the brain. Prose writing is a very left brain activity associated with the language centers of the brain. And coding is a mostly right brain activity associated with attention, memory, and spatial ability. So that was a quick look at a paper that looks at the neurological differences between writing and programming and finds that in the brain there are two very different tasks. So now you know. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.